Hello sim racers, it's Sim Racing Jason again, here for another touring car race. Today we are in race 07 and I've finally found a touring car mod that contains the mighty brick which is the Volvo Estate. We're going to be racing around Knock Hill, it's only going to be 10 laps and we are going to be starting as you can see right at the back as we work our way past some BMWs, Alphas where are we now look Nissans, Vauxhalls, Toyotas we have got absolutely everything and anything right so standing start not my speciality as we're creeping back down the hill at Knock Hill. Right, as anybody who knows anything about sim racing or touring cars will know that Knock Hill is a ridiculous circuit to try and race around. With its sub minute, whoops, sub minute uh, lap time, <laughs> and it's just a series of corners. but it always produces some great racing oh. whoa, whoa, hey, hey. especially as we try and make our way through lap one now I've come across this mod over on the uh, race department website uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, big accident. No overtaking, well it's a bit late now because I've overtook a load, but never mind. Uh. Right. Now, what was I saying? Yes, found the mod at race department. It was last updated about a year and a half ago, so it's not a new mod but saying that again the sim title it's been developed for race 07 must be about 10 years old itself by now I would have thought Whoa. maybe more than that but with some googling some hunting around and some extra files I've managed to find some uh, slightly uh, nicer looking British tracks with some prettier textures and it does look good if I put it on my ultra wide at uh, the full high res here I'm playing at uh, 1080p only because I'm going to record it oh, too deep too deep too deep locked up locked up I also haven't really got the field of view set up particularly well. I forgot to um, double check with one of the various online field of view calculators to get it right. So I've set it up so it's more or less in line with my steering wheel. And I can see a little bit out of the uh, mirror. Last corner, sharp hairpin. Don't get too greedy on the throttle. Front wheel drive, so they brake traction. And you get a whole load of uh, power understeer as they uh, as they scrabble for grip. That's it. Not too deep in this time. Now I've got an AccuCraft D. Aki Force, I can never say that right. Aki Force uh, direct drive wheel, along with <coughs> some Fanatec V3 pedals. I've got the pedals sorted out. Being load cell, I had to back the um, sensitivity right down to uh, 25%, otherwise, you were just locking up too easily. So that was fairly easily done. Now, initially, 
I loaded this game and mod up using the Sim Commander software that comes with the wheel and downloaded uh, their profile but I couldn't it just felt a bit too uh, sloppy around the center and I couldn't get a good feel for it so I'm now using just the force feedback from the game now again I've had to turn that right down because <laughs> you have to be like the rock to be able to um, turn the wheel I've tried various settings and I've got it I've got it to a point now where if the curbs are wee, are violent enough that I can get the uh, chatter back through the wheel to let me know I'm running over a curb but it's not very communicative communicative oh, give up I'm not getting a lot of feedback from the uh, wheel to tell me exactly what the car is and isn't doing which is a real oh my word see I can't f I know I've locked up but I can't feel it through the wheel now that's obviously a limitation of the of the game you know developers would have never thought about uh, direct drive wheels you know, we were probably going from cog to belt around that sort of time when this game was coming out, so... I'm not surprised that I can't um, use the full benefit of a direct drive wheel. It's on my outside. He had a better line out of there than me. But I have got it to the point now where, like I say, I can get the feedback off the curves. And it will, um... I can, if I really go over the limit, get it to snap back a little bit on me. Just to give you a, a bit of an idea, but it is quite flat feeling, but of course... been truly spoilt by titles like ACC which you know fully embrace direct drive wheels but oh, I haven't given up on finding a better user created sim commander uh, profile or even with a bit more googling that uh, buried on a forum somewhere years ago somebody's got some uh, any file adjustments that can be made to give a little bit more dynamic feedback I'm still having a ton of fun though racing around some of the classic UK tracks some amazing touring cars as I say the guy who created all this has really really obviously got a passion for touring cars you, you know and was really big into race 07 because uh, he's got a lot of things updates for cars and tracks and various other bits but all based around this sim title so Thank you once again to the uh, modding community for their time and dedication to producing content for guys like me to drive poorly around a virtual track and live out my touring car dreams. I'd like to say that the only reason I haven't made it was because of money. But it's really just to do with a lack of talent. Come on, let's get past it. Come on, Brick. Come on, Brick. Oh, oh. 
surely this time, surely, tight. See, what I need to do is widen that corner off and it come out of the corner on a straighter plane so I can get the power down better. Otherwise, I'm never going to get him. The um, AI has been set to uh, 95%. I am using a slightly tweaked version of this Not Kill Circuit. Again, the same chap who created the mod has created some updated track files for some of the UK circuits just to give a better AI experience. I think he's made the AI a bit too good. Oh, oh no, I've got it. Oh, I had him on the way in, look, rather than having to worry about him getting him on the way out. But the sheer breadth of cars included in this mod is absolutely fantastic. I can't believe it. it's come to the end already. Oh. So that was a last lap, last corner overtake there. Well, I would say for the win, but uh, I'm not too sure where we actually came in the end. Anyway, this is race 07. And it's the uh, Super Touring Car mod. Um, it's over at the Race Department website, along with a whole host of other stuff. Twelfth I come in the end, look. Oh, well, that'll do me. But, uh, yeah, if you've got Race 07, mind you, if you haven't, it's about £1.50 on Steam, I think. You will need the Swedish Touring Car add-on for some of the sound files. But, again, I already have... <laughs> I had just about all the old previous old Simbin games anyway, so it wasn't uh, wasn't uh, ex you know, expensive for me at all. But I think you can get them. all those old Simbin titles, the Race 07s, the, the Touring Cars, Race Evolution, and World Touring Cars, and all that lot. They're all a couple of quid. Well worth checking out for a bit of classic uh, touring car action. They're, and if you put the time in to finding out the various files and tweaks and bits and pieces you know you can get it to look and feel pretty decent enough to enjoy yourself and at the end of the day that's what we're all here for it's a hobby we want to enjoy it right thanks for watching thanks for listening i shall see you in the next one in the meantime race hard race fair